We're now going to talk about functions in Python. So functions are blocks of code that can be reused later. And we can pass parameters or data into those functions. So again, it breaks code into small reusable chunks, and reusable is the key word. And functions are an important feature of any programming language. It allows us to again break things down and make them more modular. So here's an example of a function. Maybe we have a function called click rate that calculates the click-through rate in marketing analytics. And we pass in two parameters, the number of clicks and the number of views. And when we feed that in, the function performs the calculation and can return the result, the click-through rate, which is clicks divided by views multiplied by 100. Okay, now let's take a look at some uh, functions in Python. So if you wanna follow along with this code, a link will be on the page. So remember, a function is a block of reusable code, and it only runs when it's called. It's gotta be called for it to run, and we're gonna talk about that in a second. And you can pass parameters or data into the function. So let's try to create one and then call it. So to create a function, we're gonna use def, D-E-F. And then we're gonna state the name or whatever we wanna call our function or create. And then what we could put is the parameter that we're eventually gonna pass into it. Okay, so we're gonna create this function, give it a name, and then if we choose to identify a parameter that we wanna pass into it. And what we're gonna do is just essentially print whatever that parameter is. That's all that this function is gonna perform. Now, if we were just to run or just to have these two lines here, the function is not gonna run because we have to call it. We create the function so that we can use it later. Okay, if we wanna actually use the function, we have to call it. So here's a couple examples. Maybe we're gonna say, okay, now that we have this function created, we wanna call it using its name. And then we're gonna feed into it a parameter, in this case, Superman. So what it should do is take Superman in as the parameter and print that out. And then do the same thing for Batman. So um, rather than having to, to write that, those two lines of code, just keep repeating it if we wanted to add in more superhero names, we just call the name of the function and tell it the parameter that we wanna feed into it. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this and see what this looks like. Okay, so it should, once it finishes up here, just say Superman and Batman. Okay, so we've created the function, and then we've called the function and fed it in a parameter. Okay, let's try another one here. Let's create a function, and then instead of feeding it or defining one parameter, let's put in two, like a first name and a last name. And what we wanna have happen here is print the first name plus a space, so we have a space in between their first and last name, and then print the last name. So again, I've created the function, then I have to call it. So I'm gonna call the function by using its name and then feed it in the parameters. The first parameter, comma, the second parameter. Okay, so let me go ahead and try to run this. There we go, perfect. So we created the function, we called it, we fed in the number, right number of parameters there, two in this case, and it printed the first name plus a space and then the last name, okay? All right, let's try another one here. We're gonna create another function. Let's call it, uh, again, name function. But we want to, again, feed it in maybe two parameters, a name and an age. And what we want is to print on two separate lines here their name and then their age. We're gonna just put in front of it name so we know that that's their name and age so we know that's their age. And then when we call the function, again, we wanna use the name of it. And then in this case, what we're doing is we're actually feeding it in two different data types. Okay, so a, um, a string and an integer. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say um, name is equal to Superman and age is equal to 32. And then Batman, the name is gonna be Batman and their age is gonna be 29. Okay, so if I run this, let's see what the output looks like. Okay, so it printed, after I fed it in those two parameters, the name and the ages for those two superheroes. Let's try one more here. We're gonna create a function in this case now and return a value. We've just been printing stuff up to this point, but let's actually return a value, give this a little more use. 
So what we wanna do is, in this case, calculate the click-through rate. We're gonna create a function that does that. And so we're gonna call the function click rate, and then we're gonna feed it in. There's two parameters, clicks and views. And then once we get those two inputs, we're gonna return clicks divided by views multiplied by 100. That's gonna give us our click-through rate. It's gonna be a percentage. Okay, so I'm gonna define the function or create it, and then call it in three different scenarios. Okay, so in this case, I'm feeding in clicks, which is 275, and views, which is 4,324. It's gonna then feed those into the function and then return the result. I want it to return the result. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and run this, and then I get the click-through rate in those three scenarios. I created these functions, this modular reusable code, and I call it when I actually want to make use of it. 